Hello. Today I'm going to show you a little trick you can do with FFmpeg. Um, I do a weekly video edit for my church, and for whatever reason, their camera will store video broken up into segments, and it names them numerically, like 00001.mts, 2.mts, and so on. The problem with these is, depending on how your video editor works, when you import those in and try to line them up to each other, your video editor may be smart and know how to combine them together frame perfect so you don't notice any skips, but oftentimes the editor will not be able to be frame perfect and will have some kind of jump or skip in between each one of these segments where, where it joins together. So to avoid that, we can use FFmpeg to concatenate them together into one file and then just import that in to the video editor. So the way that we would do that, so I got my, my terminal up, I can list out those three MTS files that I've got. We would do FFmpeg we're going to do concat and then depending on how your files are named and how many you have you'll have to adjust this command uh, to meet whatever needs you've got so in my example I've got one two and three so I'm going to do zero 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 one there's my first one I'm going to do a pipe. And then the next one. And another pipe. And then the last one. Close the quote. And I'm going to output it to a file called output. And it's going to have the extension m2ts. You can name this file whatever you want. And when I hit enter, you'll see that some stuff happens and then it will start uh, concatenating these files together. And you can see on the this time segment where along in the video it's gotten. So we'll just wait for that to finish. And now we're done. You can see that on the uh, last report on its time it did about 53 minutes. So we've got our first three files that we were working on and then we've got the joined together uh, file that's got all three of these concatenated together without the worrying about the uh, skips or like a, a dropped frame or anything like that. So then you could take that and import that into your video editor of choice and be on your way. Thanks for watching.